precious possessions stolen from Fort Bend County families and the thefts were caught on camera. More than a dozen storage units hit by this thief. Our Brittany Jeffers joining us live in Rosenberg with that surveillance video. Brittany? Yeah, on back-to-back -back nights, Rosenberg police say that this alleged thief helped himself to thousands of dollars worth of stolen property, and they tell me that it was surveillance video that helped them track him down just a few days later. Armed with bolt cutters and only one sandal on, surveillance video shows this shoeless thief popped lock after lock at the storage facility, clearing out about 15 units before taking off in a moving van. Anything, anything uh, from musical equipment to tools to pictures. Uh, we found a lot of uh, little trinkets, things like that that looked like they were sentimental uh, value. Three days later, the Rosenberg police chief says they found the man in the surveillance video. He was behind the wheel of the truck with the stolen goods still inside. The majority of the property we were able to get back to the rightful owners. Uh, several thousand dollars worth of uh, property from everything from tools to musical equipment was uh, captured and returned. The suspected thief is Jacob Coker. Police say he admitted to the crime and they arrested him on a burglary charge. Channel 2 pulled his court records, which show in 2016 he was convicted of criminal mischief and assault charges in Brazoria County. Coker also has a warrant out for his arrest for tampering with government records. And this Penske truck that he was driving also reported stolen. Police say he used a fake ID to rent it. There are a few other agencies that are looking at similar incidents that occurred. Uh, the truck was reported stolen out of Corpus Christi, so we know that he was traveling between Houston and Corpus Christi within this time frame. So this is an ongoing investigation, and police say in this particular incident, uh, the storage facility did have the proper security measures in place, but they say if you are, in fact, looking for a storage facility, it's a good idea to make sure that there are gates in place as well as cameras. Live here in Rosenberg, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News. Brittany, thank you.